Hi there, I'm Jacob, but you can call me Applesauce. You know Tears of the Kingdom, right? Yeah, I thought so. Tears of the Kingdom's choose mechanic is one of its defining features, and one of its best. If you've been looking for some useful or fun fuse combos, you've come to the right place. I'll split this video into three sections, weapons, arrows and shields. There'll be chapters in the video so you can jump sections quickly. A weapon and a mushroom creates something much like the spring-loaded hammer from Breath of the Wild that is a funny thing to play around with when you're bored. This effect can also be recreated with a spring instead of a mushroom. Flux cores are obtained after you Lego deconstruct a flux construct and are a powerful item to fuse to a sword, spear or claymore to add hefty amounts of damage. Boomerangs. They're not that good, but there's a way to make them better. Add a Zonai rocket to your next boomerang to create a Zoomerang. Alright, sorry about that one. Construct horns are a less powerful but more common version of the previously mentioned flux cores. The construct horns range from rank 1 to rank 4. The higher the rank, the better the horn, the better the horn, the more damage it can do. They can be fused to a weapon to increase its attack power. Something that immediately comes to mind when you say arrow fusions is the Keys or Arakuda eyeballs that can be fused with arrows to make them home onto enemies. This is highly beneficial against bosses like the Gleox, who can fly too far and too fast for your regular arrows to reach. They also come in elemental variants. Combine jelly with an arrow, what do you get? An excellent way to use elemental effects. There are different tutor jelly types to correspond to each element. You can also recreate a similar effect with the various elemental fruits found throughout the game. Zonai rockets are always a useful tool in Tears of the Kingdom, and when fused to an arrow, it will fly completely straight, just like it's been shot from Breath of the Wild's ancient bow. It's a surprisingly unknown feature in this game, and is extremely underutilised. Bomb flowers and arrows create my personal favourite fusion in the game, the perfect mix of destruction and damage. It's an extremely useful weapon both early and late game. If you've played Tears of the Kingdom, you've used a rocket shield, whether it be for fun or climbing a mountain. We've all done it, and it's extremely fun and a useful traversal tool. Fire is a valuable resource for combat, and a flame emitter fused to a shield creates a flamethrower like no other. You aren't restricted to just flame emitters though. Frost emitters, shock emitters and beam emitters can all be used for similar effects. Cannons are widely used in Tears of the Kingdom, whether it be on an Ultra Hand creation, a weapon or a shield. They are similar to the flame emitter shield combo, but do be warned, the cannon shield will sap your shield durability quickly, as well as do a lot of damage. Ever wanted to become a pro skater? Well now you can! Introducing the cart shield, the perfect skateboard to reenact the scenes of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 from the Nintendo Switch while skating down Hebra Peak. There are so many more amazing fusions in Tears of the Kingdom, and I couldn't go through all of them because we'd be here all day. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!